Sorry, does that say regular espresso? Okay, we'll just fuck it. Fuck you. Have it. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Oh, that's fucking easy as hell. Yes, please. Ray, you're so boring. Cop shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only cop shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Would you quit fucking making fun of me? Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely no. This bitch. Freya, the door. The, there's the door, bitch. Take it. Take your exit, walk left. Exit, stage, left. Ooh, there was a Jeep. Get the fuck out of my store. Oh, cat girl. <laughs> we went from empty to three customers in one night. Freya, get out of here. Take your fucking laptop with you. I mean, not your laptop, because you know what? Because you were a writer. Take your fucking notebook out. Let it rain. Drop it in the fucking... <laughs> Drop it in the water outside. Let the cat girls help you. Is he gonna sit between you? Can he take Freya out of my out of my um face? Like, come on now. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Yeah, get the fuck out, Freya. I don't need you. And I had to sit here and listen to y'all go back and forth and insult my coffee shop while you're a dumbass and she's over here insulting my coffee shop. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. No, Freya, get get out. Exit stage right. Get the hell out. Hello? Don't say hi to her. He can leave too. Anybody wearing green in this fucking room or has green hair can get the fuck out. She can stay in the middle. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance dude. He's a fucking freelance asshole and fuck shit, Freya. That's all you need to know. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? Girl, have you not listened to me? I tell you to get the fuck out. I draw a middle finger in your cappuccino latte art, and I tell you to get the fuck out. That's how I deal with bad customers. Get the fuck out. Nah, no, they're easy to handle. Unlike you bitches. Where are you gonna write? In the street. On the dirt. No, she said, oh, not far. That's right. Go right through that window. I'm gonna th I, I can throw you if you want it. It's over at that table in the corner. That's right. Go sit in the corner and think about what you did next to the windows. That's my spot. That better be your spot. Thanks. Get the fuck out. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you motherfucking assholes and will not miss you. That is with them and asking me how to deal with annoying clients. Did you see Freya get kicked to the corner? Did you see me telling her to go sit out on the street? Did you not see me telling Freya to go draw in the water outside? Like, and I drew a middle finger in his cappuccino and I told you this 50 million times. This is how I deal with my clients that are annoying. Oh yeah? How do you <laughs> fucking hell? Get out. The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, which I've clearly explained here, if any of y'all have been listening. <laughs> Me behind the bar, like, get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! And they started the fucking virus. What fucking bull- Don't slam my door like that! Who did that? Who did it? Frey, you fucking asshole. Of course it's you. Why would you come in here and slam my fucking door like that? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? See? See? She's getting it. We're getting it. My character knows. I'm sorry. No, you're fucking not. You're giggling. That's alright. The coffee sh This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. Ugh. You want to see a lot of stories, though? Throw them down a flight of stairs. <laughs> okay, what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. Ma'am. Freya, you can't come in here. Slam the door. After insulting me all night yesterday. And then come in here and say you're gonna write about my shop. Mostly based on what I hear and see here, girl. You are so boring. None of the- the weather's gotten worse and you're still wearing the same old shit. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't- you can just ban me from coming. And I would very much love to ban you from coming, Freya. I think I recall telling you I would throw you out that window and you can go sit in the corner. You can get the fuck out. You can go home and you cannot come back in here. Don't slam my fucking door. Okay, you're banned. See, boom. There, end credits. Roll credits. The story is over. Good night, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Ugh. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, what? Look at her soft shot. What? <laughs> very funny. It is very funny, Freya. Thank you. Oh, it's a police officer. Hey, Georgie, can you, um, can you do me a favor and arrest the lady sitting next to you? <laughs> Oh my god. I can't wait until I have to make her coffee again because I'm gonna fuck it up on purpose. What's wrong? Arrest her now. Please, handcuffs now. Matter of fact, get the taser. I will definitely run about that police officer. Girl, this girl's a villain. Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? Arrest her. I would call it a compliment. Ban her, arrest her, throw her out onto the street. Her hair looks like that Nickelodeon goo. 
She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. Please tell me he's talking about her. Oh, yes! Yes! Georgie's a G! Georgie's a G! Georgie's bright green hair. Whoa, whoa, oh, come on! I was so excited to hear about something real. Get her, Georgie. Get her. You're great with your short stories. You know what you could write about? You could write about the fact that I want to kick you out of this coffee shop. 